So you want to learn how to play Branded Chimera? Well, you've come to the right place, because this is the ultimate combo guide for how to play Branded Chimera for the September 2023 competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! format. Let's jump into it. What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, and welcome to another competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! video. You know, Branded Chimera has been one of the most popular decks of the entire format, but there are still so many people who don't know how to play the deck, or even more importantly, how to play against it. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the most important combos you're going to need to know to play Branded Chimera and how to stop them. So if you're excited for the video, then make sure to smash the like button because at 70 likes, I'll be bringing you some amazing live Branded Chimera duels against some of the best meta decks. Also, if you like combo guides, deck profiles, and just competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! videos in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You know, at the time of recording this, we are just below our goal of 1,000 subscribers, and hopefully we can hit that goal. So if you have not joined us on our journey yet, make sure to do so. That being said, here is the ultimate Branded Chimera Combo Guide for the September 2023 competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! format. Let's jump into it. So here we are back with the combos. I have four combos to show you guys today, ranging from the absolute bare minimum that you're going to see over here to the more complex and the highest ceiling possible right now with this deck. And then, of course, I'm going to show you a test hand, depending on how much time we have left in the video. But we have a combo starting off with Mirror Sword Knight or Cornfield Kotal. We have Branded Fusion and two blanks. We have Cornfield Kotal or the Mirror Sword Knight with the Branded Fusion and two blanks. Mirror Sword Knight or Cornfield Kotal and the Branded Opening with two blanks. Now, the best combo here is going to be this one here, in my opinion, but it is the most intense in terms of discards, activation requirements, all that. So let's just go ahead and get started with these two over here and be a bit quicker because they are the more basic combos. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So our first combo is going to revolve heavily around these two cards. We're going to go ahead and assume that we have Cornfield Kotal in our starting hand. We're going to use the effect of Kotal discarding itself to the Grave Field to add to our handy copy of Mirror Sword Knight. We're going to normal summon the Mirror Sword Knight using its effect to tribute itself as cost and special summon from our decked copy of the Big Wing Burfamet. Burfamet on summon will be able to special summon from our, or add to our hand rather, a level 4 beast and or a Chimera Fusion. In this case, we're going to add both of them. Very easy right now. We're going to use the Chimera Fusion, fusing aside of these two over here into our copy of the Gazelle or the Chimera King of Phantom Beast. That's the one. Now we have our chain links here. We're going to start off with our chain link one being Gazelle to add an illusion monster from deck to hand. Big Wing Birth Met as chain link two, targeting Mirror Sword Knight to special summon it. And then chain link three for our Chimera King to be able to target, well, not target, but pitch a random card from our opponent's hand in the end phase. So the chain's gonna resolve, chain link two will go through, chain link, sorry, chain link three will go through, chain link two, spam back our Mirror Sword Knight, and then Gazelle will activate, and that will allow us to get from our deck to our hand a copy of an Illusion Monster. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Cornfield Coal. Now, we're gonna use the effect of Chimera Fusion to add it back to our hand because we have in our field or graveyard a Gazelle the Flying Mythical Beast, and then, or Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, I should say, and we're gonna set the Chimera Fusion, and that is going to be our turn. In our opponent's draw phase, we're going to use the Mirror Sword Knight and do the same thing we just did. We're going to get ourselves another copy of the Birth Met, which is going to get us another copy of Chimera Fusion and another Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws, from our deck to our hands. Obviously, this is fantastic because in our opponent's turn, in the main phase, we can use Chimera Fusion and fuse away one, two, and then three or three and get access to Gazelle or get access to other cards if you really need to. It's obviously a fantastic two card engine and there's a bit more that you can do with this, but this is the absolute most basic combo you can do with this strategy. And of course, I didn't mention you have a negate for monsters on the field with this card here and you have a negate for targeting protection or targeting it rather with the Cornfield Kotal in your graveyard as well. Very powerful combo. Let's move on to the second one. So for our second combo, we have Branded Fusion and two blanks. We're going to go ahead and start off by activating the Branded Fusion. Now, if our opponent knows that we're playing a Branded Chimera build, they should not be ashing Branded Fusion. They should be ashing something else. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and use our Branded Fusion, and we're going to send a copy of Gazelle the King of Mythical Claws, and of course, our copy of the Fallen of Albas. This will allow us to get access to our copy of the Rinbro. Now we have access to our Gazelle effect, which will allow us to add from our deck to hand any Illusion monster. In this case here, I'm going to go ahead and add our Cornfield Kotal. Now, if this was in the standby phase or something, which it's not possible, then I would add my uh, Mirror Sword Knight to kind of play a bit around Droll. But in this case here, if we were to be Droll, we'd be, well, we'd be screwed anyways. I'm going to go ahead and use the effect of Cornfield Kotal, which will discard itself to add to our deck to our hand, our copy of the Mirror Sword Knight. We're going to normal summon our Mirror Sword Knight using its effect to tribute itself as a quick effect and for cost to be able to special summon out our copy of the Big Wing Birth Met. Big Wing Birth Met will get us access to Chimera Fusion and any level 4 beast. In this case, it's going to be Spriggan's Kit. Now, because we have a Albas Fusion on our field or in our graveyard, we can special summon out our copy of Kit. That's going to trigger its effect on summon to add a Branded Spell or Trap from our deck to our hand. In this case, it's going to be our copy of the Branded in White. We're going to now use the effect we still have to 
profile the cost of the effect rather not the cost but the effect of the effect which is going to be to bottom deck a random card so we're going to go ahead and do that next up we're going to be able to activate our copy of chimera fusion fusing aside our kit and our burfamet into our copy of gazelle king of myth or our chimera king of the phantom beasts wow i'm just keep mixing them up we have a chain link one as big wing burfamet to target our copy of the mirror sword knight in our graveyard and then chain link two our copy of the uh, chimera to be able to rip a card out of our opponent's hand so we're gonna special them back the mirror sword knight and then our opponents will have one less card in their hand we're then going to set back our copy of our add back our copy of branded fusion of uh, chimera fusion while wow, mixing up all the names today and that's going to be great for follow-up we're then going to activate our copy of branded in white we're going to go through our graveyard here i'm going to fusion summon with either kit or birth that's one of the two and our copy of alabaz by banishing them so i'm going to banish the alabaz here and i'll banish the kits why not won't make a difference really that's going to allow us to go into our copy of the Lubelion. We have a Dark Monster and we have a Fallen of Albaz, so that fulfills the requirements for our Lubelion. Lubelion will activate and will force us to discard a card. This blank card here can go to the graveyard and allow us to Fusion Summon. We're going to Fusion Summon with the Lubelion and with our copy of the Fallen of Albaz to put them back into our deck and extra deck, and that will allow us to get access to, of course, our copy of the Mirror Jade. So now our board is looking really scary. We're going to go ahead and set our copy. Wow, that is terrible glare there. So I'll put it over here for the time being. Um, that, that glare is just awful. My bad, guys. We're going to go ahead and set our copy of the Chimera Fusion. And the board here, the game is just looking absolutely crazy for us. What do we have right now? We have, of course, one less card in our opponent's hands. So they're going to have four instead of five plus the draw. We have our Chimera Fusion to activate to be able to special summon cards from our extra deck using our copy of the Chimera Fusion. Or more importantly, we can use our Mirror Sword Knight, tripping itself to get access again to our copy of the Big Wing Burfamet, which will then trigger and get us copies of Gazelle and Chimera Fusion, allowing us to have extra cards in our hand now after we just went through so much. So very important, we have our extra deck negate with our Rindrum, and on top of that, we have so much that we can do going forward with additional cards if we have access to something like a branded opening in our hand as well with that combo. Very, very scary. Oh, and I didn't even mention, but we have Cornfield Codal Engrave, and of course we have Mirror Sword Knight on the field slash engrave for targeting protection, and of course monster negation as well. So keep that in mind, absolutely crazy. Let's move on to our third combo where they start to get a bit more complicated. So this next combo is pretty resource intensive. We have a copy of Cornfield Codal or Mirror Sword Knight plus our copy of Branded Fusion. If you have Branded Opening to do this instead, then it works really well. It's actually even better in my opinion. If you do not have access to it and you have just a Luber, then you can't really do this specific version of the combo. Not at all. It actually have two normal summons, which just doesn't work. And of course, you have two blank cards, one for the discard and one for a bottom deck. So we're going to go ahead and get started by activating our copy of the Cornfield Codal to be able to discard it and get our copy of the Mirror Sword Knight directly from our deck. We're then going to normal summon our Mirror Sword Knight using its effect, tributing itself off to get access to our copy of the Big Wing Burfamet. Now, Big Wing Burfamet will trigger getting us access to our copy of the Chimera Fusion. And in this case here, we're going to go after our copy of Spriggan's Kits, which... I cannot find for the life of me. There we go, Spriggan's Kit. Now we're going to be able to go ahead and activate our copy of the Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion is going to send, in this case, our copy of the Fallen of Albaz and a surprise card here, our copy of the Bistial Lubelion. Now, you might be saying, why are you playing Bistial Lubelion on this build? I explained it all in my deck profile, which went up last week. So if you guys enjoyed that, of course, and you're here from that, make sure to leave a like. Let me know down in the comments that you're here from the deck profile. Now. Bistral Rebellion is great because it gets access to the Albion, the Branded Dragon. Now, we could use Albion's effect using our Big Wing Birthman. We could chain our copy of Chimera Fusion, but that kind of defeats the purpose of what I really want to do here. So we are not going to do that. Instead, what we're going to do is because we control a Albas Fusion or it's in our graveyard, we can special summon our copy of Kit directly and use its effect to get from our deck to our hand our copy of of the branded in white now branded in white is going to be great for longevity for this combo it's also really good to extend further that's going to force us though to bottom deck a blank card so we're going to put this to the bottom of our deck now we're going to go ahead and use our bistro lubelion tributing our albaz fusion our albion here to go into the lubelion itself we're going to use the lubelion here to get us access to our copy of branded lost already our combo is looking very good because now that we have this specific board here we can actually go and get kind of nasty with this combo we're going to go ahead and start by activating the chimera fusion we're going to fuse with our kit and our copy of the burfamet into our copy of chimera the king of phantom beasts now we have a chain link here we're going to go chain link one big wing burfamet targeting our copy of the mirror sword knight which is somewhere in my graveyard over here there we are so now we have access to this on the field i'll put this over here the glare is going to be awful it's not that bad over there actually 
Uh, anyway, so that's chain link one, our big wing Berkman. Chain link two is going to be our copy of the Chimera. And then chain link three is going to be our branded loss, which will get us access to a Monster Dimensions Albaz. In this case here, I'm going to go ahead and add my copy of the Tri Brigade Mercurier. Now Mercurier is going to give us another negate at some point in our combo. So this is what we're looking like here, and we were protected through that combo with our brand lost as well. We're now going to use the brand, the Chimera Fusion rather, adding it back to our hand, very important here. And then we're going to go ahead and activate our copy of the branded in white. In this case here, we can banish either our Big Wing Birth Mitt or our copy of Kit. I'll just do Kit for this example here. And I'll go ahead and banish, of course, my copy of the Fallen of Albaz to go into my copy of Lubelion the Searing Dragon. Lubelion the Searing Dragon is right over here, going to force us to discard a card, in this case going to be our blank, our additional blank, and allow us to fusion summon. And we're going to fusion summon with our Albaz and the Lubelion. There we go. And that's going to go back into our deck and extra deck, respectively, to go into our copy of the Mirror Jade. And then, of course, I'll put Mirror Jade like up here. I don't want it to be uh, hit by the Animus Zone, so just keep that in mind. And then we're going to set our copy of the Chimera Fusion, and we're going to pass to our opponent. Now, when we pass to our opponent, we have another important play here to do. Because it's going to our end phase, we have the effect of our Albion, the Shrouded Dragon, or Branded Dragon, rather, in our graveyard, to be able to set a Branded Spell or Trap directly from our deck. And in this case here, what I'm going to set is going to be a copy of Branded Opening. Now, you might be seeing where I'm going with this, if you know what engine I'm playing, if you saw the deck profile. But in our opponent's draw phase, we're going to trigger the Mirror Sword Knight, get him rid of it, to be able to special summon from our deck, our copy of the Big Wing Burfamit. If I can find the copy of it, which I put somewhere, there we go, Big Wing Burfamit. We're going to use the Big Wing Burfamit to be able to add from our deck to our hand a copy of Chimera Fusion, as well as a Gazelle the King of Mythical Claws. Now, we're also going to go, still in draw phase, using the effect of our branded opening here. We're going to be able to discard, in this case here, I'm actually going to discard my Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws, just because I don't really need it right now. There are other options to have. If you have more monsters in your hand, you can discard the Chimera Fusion. If you have another blank, do that. But I feel like right now, Gazelle is a bare and valid card to do. And that allows us to special summon from our deck, not a copy of a Luber, but a copy of Quen. So not only now, do we have an M-Board that is absolutely terrifying because we have access to both engines before, we have protection in our graveyard with the branded opening. We have protection in our graveyard with not only branded opening, but with the Mirror Sword Knight, and of course, with the Cornfield Kotal. This is obviously incredible on its own, but on top of that, we have our protection with our Mercurier because we have an Albas Fusion on the field. We also have our copy of the Chimera Fusion already set, and that's going to be great because once we activate this, our opponent can't really respond because we have our branded loss set up. Once that's done as well, once it's resolved, let's say our opponent just has two monsters on the board, or like a, a field spell on a monster, and we go Chimera Fusion, we're going to go ahead and shuffle back in, or Fusion Summon rather, with something like our Spend Mirror Jade and our copy of Lubelion. We can't even do Lubelion, but it'd have to be our Birth Mint because it's a beast or a fiend monster. So we go with one, two, and then of course, let's say something extra here, a different monster in our hand, three, and that's going to allow us to go into our copy of the Guardian Chimera, and we're going to go for our Chain Links now. So we have Chain Link 1. To pop two, draw one. We have chain link two to target our mirror jade special summon it back. Chain link three, brand lost to get us another branded spell or trap or branded monster rather. A monster that mentions Albas. That is absolutely disgusting. Really, really powerful there. So just keep that in mind. This combo is absolutely disgusting and is really good. The problem is it is pretty high intensity. So just keep that in mind. But one of my favorite combos nonetheless. So this last combo here is still pretty high resource intensive, but it is, in my opinion, a slightly better combo itself. We're going to actually start off with Mirror Sword Knight here instead of the Cornfield Codal. It works the exact same if you have the Codal. We're just going to use the Codal effect at a later point in time, and this will kind of help us play around something like Droll right now. So in our standby phase, we're going to use the effect of Branded Opening. We're going to discard a blank card, and that will allow us to special summon from our deck our copy of Aluber, the Jester of Despia. Now, the reason why we're going for Aluber here is because we want to have access, of course, to not only a Dark Monster, but it'll give us access access to our copy of the Branded Fusion as well. So now we have access to both sides of our engine, Branded Fusion and Mirror Sword Knight. Now this basically is the exact place we were at on a previous combo, but we have a Dark Monster on field instead of a blank card in our hand. So we're going to go ahead and Normal Summon our copy of Mirror Sword Knight. We're going to use the effect tributing itself and going into our copy of the Big Wing Burfamet. Burfamet will trigger and will add us a copy of our Branded or Chimera Fusion, rather, I should say, and our copy of the Gazelle King of Mythical Claws. Now we're going to go ahead and activate our copy of Branded Fusion. We're going to send our copy of the Bistual Lubelion, as well as our Fallen of Albaz. And this will allow us to go into our copy of the Albion, the Branded Dragon. Now, in this case here, in the last combo, I did not use the effect of Albion. 
However, this time around, I actually am going to use the effect because we have a dark monster in the field in the Aluber. So we're going to use our copy of Aluber and our Albaz here. We're going to banish them and we're going to be able to fusion summon out our copy of the Lubelion, the Searing Dragon, Albaz plus a dark gets the job done. We're going to use the effect discarding our copy of a blank card and that allows us to fusion summon with the Albaz and with our Lubelion back into the deck they go and we can go into our copy of Mirror Jade, which I'll put over here. Why not? So again, we're looking really good right now. We still haven't used our Chimera Fusion Engine, which is obviously fantastic. Speaking of which, we are now going to use the copy of Bistial Lubelion, tributing over our Albion. We're going to use the effect of the Bistial Lubelion, and we're going to activate directly from our deck our copy of Branded Lost. This will now protect us. It'll give us access to more interruption. It's just going to be fantastic. Now we use Chimera Fusion, fusioning with Gazelle and with a Big Wing Burfamet into, of course, our copy of Chimera King. We have chain links now. We have four chain links to resolve here. We're going to go chain link one, big win birth limit. Chain link two is going to be branded lost, I guess. Chain link three is going to be gazelle. Chain link four is going to be this. You know what? We'll do branded lost as our, as our last chance. So we do chain link one, big wing targeting the mirror sword knight. Chain link two, gazelle to add an illusion monster from deck to hand. Chain link three to rip a card out of our opponent's hand. And chain link four to add a branded monster in Albaz monster, an Albaz adjacent monster. So we're going to start off our Albaz adjacent card, I should say. Card or monster? Monster, whatever it is. Anyways, we're adding Mercurier off of that. We're going to add our copy of Cornfield Codal off of our copy of Gazelle. Big Wing Birth Mint will allow us to special summon back from our deck, or from our graveyard rather, our copy of Mirror Sword Knight. And then we're going to have the uh, this guy resolve here and our opponent's going to lose a card in their hand as well. So again, we're looking really pretty here. We have basically everything that we need as part of this combo. We've kind of gone through pretty much everything, which is really, really solid. The next thing we're going to do, though, is actually add back our Chimera Fusion from our deck to our, from our graveyard to our hand, and we're going to then activate our Cornfield Codal and search for our copy of Mirror Sword Knight. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to have the Cornfield Codal in my graveyard because I did not actually have one before. So we're going to go ahead and set the Chimera Fusion, and we're now going to proceed to the end phase. Now, we're in end phase. We have our Albion to resolve. Albion, in this case, is going to go ahead and get us access to another copy of the branded opening. There it is. So branded opening has been achieved. And again, we're looking really pretty here. We're gonna set the branded opening and we're gonna go ahead and just finalize by passing turn to our opponent. In the draw phase, again, we're gonna use Mirror Sword Knights, tributing itself, getting access to our copy of the Burfamets. Burfamets will then activate to add us our copy of Chimera Fusion, as well as in this case here, we can go for the Spriggan's Kit or we can go for our copy of the uh, the birth met. In this case here though, I am, or not the birth met, the gazelle. In this case here, I'm gonna go for my copy of gazelle. So this is our hand right now, but we're still in draw phase. We're gonna go ahead now and use our copy of branded opening, getting rid of our mirror sword knights to be able to special summon from our deck, our copy of the guiding quen. So our hand is stacked again. We still have one extra card in hand, one extra blank in hand, which is really nice with Quem on the field. And we are back pretty much at the exact same place we were before. We have access to a Fiend on the field for our copy of the um, the Chimera Fusion that we have set, which is really nice. We have access to multiple forms of protection in our graveyard. And of course, we can use our copy of Mirror Jade multiple times because we have access to Quem as well. So it, uh, is, it is completely and absolutely fantastic. In my opinion, it is a slightly better combo than going through the lines of the, uh, the, the no access to the branded opening. That is just my personal opinion because we have access to it on our turn rather than our opponents and we're thinning our deck out just slightly a bit more anyways guys that is going to be it for this combo let's go ahead and just jump into some test hands because uh you're not really gonna understand the full potential of this deck unless we have a bit more test hands all right so shuffling up the deck let's see what we end up with as our five card opening hand let's do a quick little cut here and we'll see what we get there we go and our opening hand is going to end up being a copy of droll branded fusion fallen of albaz bestial sarenir and super poly Okay, so this is kind of what we get here. Albaz is like the worst card to open up with in your entire hand, so it's a little unfortunate, but we do have still a good bit of interruption with this board. So in this case here, we're gonna start off by activating our copy of the Branded Fusion. That's going to get us access to our copy of the Gazelle and our copy of our other Albaz. So I'm gonna send the Gazelle here and I'm going to send my second Albaz in the deck. There we go, these go to the grave and that'll get us access to our copy of Rinbra. So Rinbrum is great because we have automatic negation right there, but we're now going to trigger our effect of the Gazelle, which will add us a illusion monster from the deck to our hand. In this case, I'll add the Cornfield Codal. We're then going to use the Codal's effect, discarding itself to be able to get us our copy of Mirror Sword Knight. Mirror Sword Knight is going to be our normal summon here. So we're going to normal the Mirror Sword Knight. 
we're going to use this effect, tributing itself, to go and grab our copy of the Big Winged Burfamet, which will go ahead and trigger, and it'll get us access to Chimera Fusion, and it'll get us access to Spriggan's Kit. So already, we have now plussed quite a lot, which is absolutely amazing. So in this case here, we're going to go ahead now, and I have a few lines of play here. I can try and get Serenir into the graveyard to send our copy of the Bistral Dubellion. I can try and tribute over it with our copy uh, with the, something else, but it's just not as efficient, I find. So what I'm going to do instead is because I have access to my uh, my Chimera, or my Alvast Fusion, rather, I'm going to go ahead and special summon my copy of Spriggan's Kits. Using the effect, I'm going to go and add my copy of Branded in White. Where are you, Branded in White? And I'm going to bottom deck my copy of Albaz. Albas specifically in this case because it is pretty much a dead card in my hand. Yeah, it's nice to have access to, but I also want to see it in my deck. So now we're going to be able to go ahead and use my copy of Chimera Fusion, fusing away the kit and the Burfamet, which will give us access to the Chimera King. We're going to go chain link one as our big wing Burfamet, targeting our copy of the Mirror Sword Knight. There we go. Special summoning it. And then we're going to go ahead chain link two, our copy of the uh, um, Chimera King. So again, it would be Chimera King results first, then we'd special summon back the Mirror Sword Knight. Now we're going to go ahead and use our copy of a branded in white. We're going to banish our copy of either Kit or Big Wing Burfmit. In this case, it'll be Kit plus our copy of Albaz. And we're going to go ahead and bring out our copy of the Lubelion. We're going to trigger Lubelion. We're going to discard our copy of the Bestial Serenir. And we're going to be able to fusion summon with Lubelion and Albaz. Oops, wrong place. Into our copy of Mirror Jade. And of course, again, Mirror Jade, I'll put into a different zone i'll put this over here why not um i will put over here where the glare again is absolutely terrible there can't really tell it's mirror jade at all yeah i can't tell anywhere anyways um so once that is happening here we have bestial serenir's effect activates and which allowed me to send from my deck to my graveyard a bestial monster or a brand of spell or trap in this case here i could send my copy of the branded opening for protection but i actually am going to send a copy of the bestial lubelia so now we have our end phase coming up, we're going to set our copy of Super Poly. We have Droll and Lockbird in hand. We have protection in the form of the Cornfield Codal, as well as our on-field effect of Mirror Sword Knight. Our opponent's draw phase, Mirror Sword Knight, Tribute itself. We're going to go into our copy of... Where are you? I just realized I never set back my uh, Chimera Fusion. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Chimera Fusion gets added to hand, set, of course. My mistake, forgive me. A thousand apologies. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, Mirror Sword Knight will get us our copy of the Big Wing Burfamets, if I can find it in my deck. There we go. And that'll get us access to another copy of our Gazelle. There is Gazelle and another copy of our Chimera Fusion. So now this is huge because we have actual ammo for Super Poly outside of just, you know, Droll. But if Droll is not good in the matchup, then yeah, go ahead and do Super Poly for Droll. So that is going to be what we're looking at right now. We have access to quite a bit of uh, in our opponent, in our arsenal right now. Our opponent's starting off with one fewer card. We have extra negate. We have Mirror Jade Banish. We have access to two forms of fusion interruptions. And we have Droll in hand as well. Just Really, really solid. And of course, we use Gazelle for Fusion and we use Big Wing Birth for Fusion. We can get access to two more cards. Absolutely crazy. Guys, this deck is so much fun to play and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video because at 70 likes, I'll be bringing you some live branded Chimera duels against some of the best meta decks in the format. So make sure to stick around for that. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching the channel. We are at the time of recording super close to 1,000 subscribers. We may have passed it by now. I am away, so I don't know where we are at the time of recording, but if we have gotten there, thank you. If you have not, help us get there. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time.